Hey, this is Presh Tollwalker. This video has three problems to find the shaded area. Problem 1. ABCD is a square and AEFD is a rhombus. Suppose EF and CD intersect at point G. ABCD is a square with area 625 square meters. AEFD is a rhombus with area 500 square meters. What is the area of the shaded region ABC GEA. Problem 2. There is a large square, and on its bottom right corner are two squares that are attached externally and diagonally. The large square has a side length equal to 60, and each of the small squares has a side length equal to 20. Construct a triangle from the top left corner of the large square, the bottom right corner, of the square that's on the right side and the bottom left corner of the small square on the bottom side. Call this triangle ABC. What is the area of triangle ABC? I thank Tazneem for the suggestion. Problem 3. Start with a piece of paper with dimensions of 8 and 6. Fold the paper in the center and then create two folds like this. Fold the left side of the paper so that the corner goes to the middle of the paper and fold the right side of the paper so the upper right corner goes to the middle. You'll end up with the following folded piece of paper. Now make two more folds so that each new corner ends up going to the middle. You end up with this paper airplane type shape. What is the area of this shape? This problem comes from an Iranian mathematical Olympiad. Now just to show you what this looks like in another way, here's an animation of how the paper folding would go. We start out with these folds, and then we fold the paper so that the corners go to the center. We then make two more folds, so that the new corners go to the center. This is the final resulting shape and we need to figure out its area. Pause the video if you'd like to give these problems a try. And when you're ready, keep watching to learn how to solve these problems. Let's solve problem 1. Suppose the square ABCD has a side length that's equal to S. So AD is equal to AB is equal to BC is equal to CD is equal to S. Then S squared is equal to 625, meaning S is equal to 25. In the rhombus, construct the height EH upon the side AD. The area of the rhombus is equal to EH times AD, which equals 500. But AD is a side length of the square, so it's equal to 25. So EH times 25 is equal to 500, and EH is equal to 20. Since AEFD is a rhombus, all of its side lengths have the same length. So AE is equal to AD is equal to S, which equals 25. Now, Construct the perpendicular EI upon the side AB. AI is equal to HE, which is equal to 20. Then BI is equal to AB minus AI, which means BI is equal to 25 minus 20, which equals 5. Now let's focus on the right triangle AIE. IE squared plus 20 squared is equal to 25 squared which means IE is equal to the square root of 25 squared minus 20 squared, so IE is equal to 15. This is a scaled up 3, 4, 5 right triangle. Now we're pretty much ready to solve the problem. The area of the shaded region is equal to the area of the rectangle IBCG plus the area of the right triangle AIE. We know that BI is equal to 5, and we know that BC is a side length of the square, so it's also equal to 25. So the area of the rectangle is equal to 25 times 5, 
the area of the triangle is 20 times 15 all over 2. This equals 125 plus 150, which equals 275 square meters. Now let's solve problem 2. There are many ways to solve this problem, but I will show you a solution that uses outside-the-box thinking. It's so simple that even a third grader in China would probably be able to use this method to solve it. Start by completing the square. We will construct the following three rectangles to construct a larger square. Let's label these lengths. The large square has a side length of 60. Each small square has a side length of 20. So this will be 20. Then 60 minus 20 is equal to 40. We have 20 over here. We have another 20. Then we have 60 minus 20, which will be 40. And finally, we have 20 again. So how does this diagram help us? Well, notice the area of the triangle is equal to the area of the large square with a side length equal to 80 minus the areas of three different right triangles. So this is one right triangle with side lengths of 80 and 60. This is a right triangle with side lengths of 20 and 40. We have a third right triangle with side lengths of 40 and 80. So that's all we need to figure out this problem. We just need to calculate these areas. So we make this equation. The area of the square will be equal to 80 squared. Then the first triangle will be 80 times 60 all over 2. The second triangle will be 20 times 40 all over 2. And the third triangle will be 40 times 80 all over 2. We simply do this calculation and we get the answer of 2,000. Now let's solve problem 3. So we start out with this piece of paper. We make a fold down the middle. We then make these two folds and we're going to fold so that the corners go to the middle. So basically, we're taking this original sheet of paper and we're going to subtract out the areas of these two right triangles. Since we're making a fold down the middle, we know that each of these horizontal lengths will be equal to half of six or equal to three. Now, what about the other side length? Well, consider this constructed line. We are going to fold the left side to the base of this new triangle. But the base of the new triangle is equal to 3. So we know that the original height is also equal to 3. Now we end up with this shape. So we have two isosceles right triangles with side lengths equal to 3. So its hypotenuse will be equal to 3 root 2. That will be the side length of the new triangle that we're folding. So we make this fold and this fold, and we want to subtract the areas of the following two triangles. So we need to figure out the areas of these two triangles. But now, these two triangles will exactly be congruent to the two folded triangles. It will be slightly easier to figure out the height from this diagram. Construct this horizontal length, which we know is equal to 6. So half of it will be equal to 3, and that's the height of each of these triangles. And we know the base is equal to 3 root 2. So we have two triangles with a height that's equal to 3, and a base that's equal to 3 root 2. So we're now ready to do the calculation. The area of the original piece of paper is going to be 8 by 6. Then we subtract out two triangles, which have legs that are equal to 3. Then we subtract out the areas of two triangles, which have a height of 3 and a base of 3 root 2. So we simply do this calculation, and we get the result of 39 minus 9 root 2, which is approximately equal to 26.272. And that's the answer. Thanks for making us one of the best communities on YouTube. See you next episode of Mind Your Decisions, where we solve the world's problems, one video at a time.